Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name's Lainey. We're finally back in the studio. I'm so excited to be here. It, like, inspires me to film in here. Look at my two band-aids. COVID shot, flu shot. Took a three-hour nap with the baby today. I'm feeling so energetic. Guys, before we get into this video, thank you so much to Missouri for sponsoring. They were one of the first companies I ever worked with on this channel. So it's really cool to work with them again. Let me get up closer. I have some of their more affordable jewelry pieces on today. I have this like little three stack flower earring. This is just one earring. It's actually in my second hole and it looks like multiple. I have this really pretty simple band on and then these three little bracelets that are just so adorable. They're giving very summer, but I like to wear like colorful beaded bracelets like this all the time. I know that these are never gonna come off. I really like Missouri for their bracelets. I mean, I like everything, but Missouri bracelets is cool is they have sizing. So these are actually like the smallest size and there's no like give on them. So you guys know if you have a baby or babies in your life, toddlers, they pull on your jewelry. So I can't wear necklaces but she can't really get a grip on these, so to that. And I can't really wear like dangly earrings, but these, she won't like tug my holes apart. So yeah, there's still like a statement earring while being a stud. That's that, let's get into the outfits. Here we go. So I feel like I really didn't even explain in this video. I want to focus on jackets and showing that your jacket doesn't have to determine what look you're going for. So I'll link everything down below, the Missouri jewelry as well as what I'm wearing. A lot of it is thrifted like this jacket, but I just want to show the different ways you can style a jacket because I know that it feels like, or at least for me and I've gotten comments before, it can feel like your jacket just overrides your entire outfit in the winter and it doesn't really matter what you're wearing underneath. I want to show that it does matter. So this jacket on its own is pretty statement-esque, I think. It's just got the most beautiful silhouette. I love the cinch with the belt, but we're playing with colors when we're styling it. Uh, we're playing with the silhouette of it, you'll see in a minute. So a lot of these are more casual which is what I tend to love. And you're gonna see me wearing like the same pants over, the same shoes, same scarves, and we're gonna get so many different looks out of these pieces. So let's get into me more talking about what I'm actually wearing. So here's like my only very dressed up outfit. And these tights are coming across green on camera, but they're like fleece lined. They're supposed to look like sheer black tights. But here's the jacket, I just removed the cinched belt. And you can obviously add a cinch or add a normal belt to any jacket and get a totally different style. Um, I love the silhouette of this with just little booty shorts. I have no idea where I would ever wear this, like maybe if I did date nights, but yeah. Then here again, totally different look. This is still the same jacket from the first outfit, pairing with cheetah pants and these little kitten heels. It's such like a mod 60s style, almost poncho-esque jacket, and I'm just obsessed with it. The pants are thrifted, but they're the brand Geneology, and the shoes are thrifted, but the brand is Clark's. I gotta look at what brand that jacket is. And here are all the outfits side by side. You can see it's the same jacket, but we got so many different looks out of it. And if I did my hair different, we could get even more, but... Yeah, we're focusing on the clothes today. Here's this little Deus jacket that I got, I think like three summers ago at the Deus store in Santa Monica. Um, I wanted to show layering a sweater underneath it and just really, again, playing with layers and colors without focusing so much just like on accessories. It's a fleece jacket, so it gives like a gorp core, and I feel like the first outfit kind of led that way. And this one's dressing it up a little bit more, but more so just playing into the colors of the jacket and doing those really muted, rich colors. Can muted and rich be both describing the same color? I don't know. I've got my Reformation Moto boots, Everlane jeans, Reformation collared sweater I put underneath because I just like how it pops out, and then that thrifted clutch. Okay, and then 
this outfit i have thrifted skort reformation boots and this same little cashmere scarf you've been seeing i got it off whatnot i think the brand is like j crew or something but i'm really just i always talk about it now these muted colors i'm so into it so i'm glad i have a scarf to kind of play into it all um i feel like i was always looking at scarves to be such a statement piece and I'm really liking them more so as like blending into your outfit and just adding textures and layers. I think it looks really good. So again, we're not dressing like Gorp Core at all with this fleecy Sherpa-esque jacket and I love it. Okay, and then one more outfit with it. These little gray jeans that are from Madewell. I'm really into this cut with a pair of boots, like just a shorter wide leg denim i love it so much uh same little scarf and then my little kerchief that's from etsy that has that took me like a year to find honestly if i find one out i'll link it for you guys but i've never found another one so there they all are side by side they look so different but you can tell it's all the same jacket i don't know it's cute and we're really not doing anything crazy i'm not pulling out like pieces that no one has okay the black trench this one's a little harder because it does take up a lot of your outfit i just styled it with like all black all dark and i only buttoned the top button so you can only do this if your trench has more of like a traditional collar and not the like open v-neck which I always talk about on my channel. But I can't see myself really wearing the wool trench like this because I'm just a button-up kind of girl, but I wanted to give you guys a different way to style it. And I do think it's really cute. I'm just weird and like to have all my buttons buttons, all my zippers zipped. Um, but you can get a lot more styles if you're not a weirdo and don't care. Here we've got it all buttoned, but I paired a more fun pant underneath. And yes, you can only see like the ankle of the pant, but I still think it looks really cute. I did camo pants and my sambas, just really dressing it down. And then my little burgundy clutch, I think looks so cute with a pop of color. I didn't have a black beanie at the studio with me, but I think a black beanie would have been really cute. Add some sunnies, like ultimate cool girl outfit. So love that. Okay, then I did add a camo cap baseball cap because I felt like it gave that very casual vibe that I was going for. That same little scarf, these pinstripe pants from Peachy Den and my Sambas again. Still very casual with this wool trench, which is honestly how I like to wear it just because I dress more casual day to day. And I think it looks so cute. I love a big baggy pant under a super, super long wool trench. And there we go, only three this time. They look a bit more similar because the trench is just so long and takes up a lot of your outfit, but still pretty different. Okay, next the denim jacket. I know that this isn't like a winter jacket for everybody, but a fall jacket. And you can layer a lot underneath if yours is large like mine is, it's very oversized. Same pinstripe pants, sambas, and then the denim jacket. Such an effortless, cool girl, cool girl look. I'm so into an oversized denim jacket. My dad actually got this one for me off Facebook Marketplace. It's Carhartt. I might have found it on the side of the road. I can't remember, honestly. Okay, Canadian tuxedo. I love a Canadian tuxedo. Added my Everlane jeans, rolled them up once to show off my little fry boots. I went very like Western with this look. And then the purse like seems totally wrong and that's why I love it. This outfit's so cute, like apple orchard, pumpkin patch, cider mill, those are all basically the same thing. But a fall activity in this, adorable. I'm obsessed with it. I'd go to the bar like this. I'm pretty sure I have gone to the bar in a Canadian tuxedo. Very cute. And then totally switching it up, I have these little Speltham pajama pants that are red pinstripe. They're kind of a lot, but I love them. And when I didn't have the scarf on, it felt super like patriotic, red, white, and blue, which I did not like. And then I added this gray muted scarf and it just totally pulled the outfit together. Yeah, I feel like I don't see denim jackets and scarves a lot, so I was hesitant to put it on, but I like it, it works. And Samba's forever. 
a denim jacket again. These, they look black, but they're blue pants are Izod. I have little Mary Janes on, and then I opted for the striped scarf this time. I felt like it added something a bit more fun to the outfit, and yeah, this is a good transitional outfit. Like, if you have Uniqlo heat tech, put it on under here, you're golden for like a colder day, not negatives, I know that. And there's all the outfits together. I feel like this one turned out really good. They all look pretty different, even though we've got like a big, huge denim jacket and all the outfits. We're not doing anything crazy, but they look good. They look different. Next, I have this little Dickies Eisenhower jacket that I absolutely adore. It is so warm also. It's obviously not like floor length wool jacket warm, but it's warm enough in the winter time. I went for just an all dark outfit and then the camo hat and I love how it turned out. I kind of like took inspo from the Canadian tuxedo because these Izod pants feel like Dickies. So I feel like I'm in a little matching set with the Dickies top and pants. Then this is a fun trick. If you have a really short, short scarf, this one's from Hysteric Glamour. I got it off eBay. You can just like tuck it into a high zip or high buttoned jacket and then wear it as a hood basically it's like a balaclava hack i really like how it looks i even like wearing like a hoodie underneath a jacket like this and zipping it all the way up with the hoodie on it looks like a balaclava but a little bit less aggressive for some reason and even if you have it like not on your head it just looks like a hood and it totally changes the outfit dance break so yeah and i think the bright colors with the cheetah looks really cute Next, just super simple, I paired it with jeans, a belt, this little purse from Versa Bags. Not little, it's pretty large, but I feel like it adds a lot to the outfit. And then my Caitlin Pan buckle ballet flats. Very cute. I'm into ballet flats with a wide pant, especially a wide jean and just super cash. Obviously, if it's colder, put some socks on because your feet will freeze, but it's not that cold yet here some days and there they are side by side only three this time but you kind of get the gist of it now we're just doing outfit inspo I feel like okay then I was gonna do the fur jacket and I was just like so hot and bothered I'm not gonna do it <laughs> so that's it for this video make sure to use the link in the description box to shop Missouri I love you so much and I'll see you in a few days bye